Hey guys, uh, Marmar the Kid here, coming to you again. It's Monday, guys. How's everybody doing out there? Welcome back to Versus Match with a Twist. Um, first and foremost, let's get into the results of last week. Uh, results. Best uh, Jet. Uh, you guys went with the Blackbird. Uh, Blackbird beat out the Quinjet. Um, not, I'm not hating on that. I mean, the Blackbird is a very sleek, lovely jet. I'm not saying that the Quinjet isn't, but... The Blackbird is now not the only jet that the X-Men have. Uh, they have a jet now called the Dove. So, now guys, uh, we move on to... Uh, this one comes from my friend of 58632HHH. Five, now, these are all his. He went, he went the whole limit. 14 choices. Best video game villain. These are his. So, please be respectful. And uh, you decide. Right. So first up, we have is Albert Wesker from uh, Resident Evil. Now, when we were first introduced to Albert Wesker, he just looked like the stereotypical, like silent guy of the Stars group. But you you also f looked at him also like, okay, something is wrong with this guy. He's got that shady look. It wasn't until Resident Evil Cold Veronica where we really got to see okay this guy has evolved he is a badass um, and that was one thing that I could say right there next up uh, Mundus the real Mundus from Devil May Cry um, Mundus was an interesting character to fight in the original Devil May Cry game um, yeah, he's talking about the original. I'm not talking about that failure. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, Mundus was a, a cool character. I did... He, he gave me a run for my money sometimes. I'm definitely gonna, not going to lie about that. Next up, we're going to... The old Street Fighter. And... Uh, he gives us none other than... Michael Bison, M. Bison, or Vega, whichever way you want to classify it, because remember, in Japan, he's called Vega, here he's called M. Bison, um, we all know Bison, there's been different versions of him, there's the skinny, then there's what they call Fat Bison from Alpha, or, and then, you know, there's a different kind of version, but one of his most famous moves, attacks, of course, is the Psycho Crusher, you know, we all know that, his psycho power, uh, it's a cool character nonetheless. Next up, we move on to the world of Mortal Kombat. And uh, if we thought Sh Shang Sun was the big bad of the group, there's always another step up. Who was Shang Sun Shang Sun's boss? And we got to see that guys in Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn being this very big demonic looking character with these huge like uh, hammers very cool next up uh, he gives us a character from the world of Metal Gear Solid and he goes with none other than Psycho Mantis Psycho Mantis a very cool character in my opinion um, I still will never forget where he was actually reading my memory card and saying that I did not save a lot uh, things like that and then one time when I did have Castlevania he even said I like to play Castlevania I'm like what the and that kind of freaked me out and then he's like put the put the control on the floor and I'm like what that was crazy <laughs> next up um, this is a character I have no knowledge of, guys, but this his name is uh, uh, Lethro, Letho, I hope I'm saying it right, I'm, I don't mean to mispronounce the name, uh, but I know he's, he's, he's from the game called The Witcher, never played that game, and yeah, guys, I'm a gamer, but there are many games that I have not played, and I've never played this game called The Witcher, but he does look like a very imposing villain. And I must give him that. Very much indeed. 
Next up, this character takes me back. Uh, Jaquo uh, from Ninja Gaiden, uh, the classic game. Oh uh, boy, I had a rough time with this guy. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. Uh, but this this takes me back um, very much. This kind of gives you a sense of how long I've been playing games, guys. Because yeah, this 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 takes me back. This very much takes me back a lot. Next up, we have Hihachi Mishima from Tekken. Tekken. Um. What a bastard he is. I'm not even gonna lie. You talk about probably one of the most dis disemboweled piece of crap fathers in video games. You're looking at him. This guy threw his own son in a live volcano, had his father buried under their own house. Next, let's just move on to the next. Uh, next up we move to the world of Final Fantasy now I am a Final Fantasy fan I've been playing Final Fantasy for a long time and there have been some memorable villains in the Final Fantasy franchise none more than this character right here Sephiroth um, I remember seeing this guy in Final Fantasy 7 and seeing the backstory of this guy and I'm like Jesus, look at his sword. Like, how, look how long it is. Showing how powerful this guy was with one slash, he took out this giant creature that was at 99, 99, 99, 99 his, and that was like crazy. Next up, we move on to the world of Soul Calibur, Soul Edge, and that's none other than Nightmare. Now, Nightmare, guys, remember, if you played the original Soul Edge, Nightmare was just the evil version of of um, uh, Siegfried he when he picked up Soul Edge that's what he turned into but then when he was he was broke free of the curse Nightmare became his own being after and uh, this is kind of the embodiment of him I mean he just looks like something you would not want to see walking down or coming down in a dark alley you know, I mean, would you want to be touched by that arm? Or, you know, he just looks very imposing and very freakishly scary. I mean, just imagine that a little, you're, you're only a six-year-old kid and this thing's coming at you. you. You, you're pissing your pants, you know? So, yeah, I mean, he is a very imposing villain of the Soul Calibur universe. So, we move on to, uh, he gives us Zeus from uh the god of war series yeah, and yeah let's let's face it zeus was a bastard um as pretty much we kind of all figured that out i mean this is the guy who has had various children at various women and uh what uh pretty much is he he's 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 a piece of garbage and we saw in, we even saw in this, he was a piece of garbage. And uh, this character right here, guys, is from Halo. Now, guys, I don't play Halo. Um, and this is the Truth Prophet, or the Prophet of Truth, or something like that, from Halo. Now, guys, like I said before, I play, I do not play Halo never played I played them once but I've never played through any of the Halo games I'm not a big Halo fan I'm not um, so yeah um, I apologize for that and this character is from Darksider um, and this is the character known as the Absalom uh, Absalom I hope I'm saying his name right uh, very imposing character very dark and edgy looking character as well um believe it or not guys i have not fully played all of the dark sider games i played it i have to finish playing those games those are, that is on my list of games to finish playing 
Next up, we have none other than, and the last one uh, is his choice is Sovereign from Mass Effect. Um, I was really interested in why he put Sovereign because if you think about it, you never really fight him in the game, um, but you see the other ships of the the Alliance fighting him, and it just looks like it's like they're not gonna be able to deal with this guy, <laughs> this this ship. Um, but I can, if that's why he's put it, because he was a, an opposing threat. Okay. But, uh, yeah, Sovereign is his last choice for his 14th choice. He went the full limit. Um, but, yeah, very cool character. So, there you guys have it. Uh, 58,632 4H gives us the whole limit of choices. Like I said, guys, you have, you can do 14 choices. That's your limit. Um, now, on versus match for interest, and he did it. He went four to all fourteen, and I had I didn't have to put any choices in, and I'm that's fine. Um, sometimes I just feel like the your 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 requests are fine the way it is. I don't need to add anything. But once again, I know there are so many other video game villains that could have uh, could have been chosen in this. We, we could have seen more. It's fine. You know, like I said before, j please be respectful. These are his choices. And, you know, this could be, there could be another volume to this, this, uh, this, uh, topic. Um, because there's so many other choices, so many other people to pick from, from, from video games. Um, but yeah. So voting begins now and will end next Monday, which is, uh, that is the 28th um of monday so uh vote let's see where you guys vote out of these choices who is the best video game villain and i will see you guys next time this is versus match with a twist you guys take care and uh ta-ta for now